What's happening beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike and welcome to the Ball Roll Basics tutorial. And this skill move seems so simplistic, seems so easy, yet it's been on the come up. In FIFA 14 it's had a revival and it's very very effective and I wanted to start out in the arena as you can see on the screen I'm going over how to execute a ball roll and it's one of the easiest if not the easiest skill move to do on a regular basis you literally are holding the right stick to the right or you're moving it to the left in the perspective that your pro or your individual player is facing in order to execute the move and it's a great move for mix-ups for timing if you need to wait on some people to make some runs you can hold off the ball and I always go into the arena as well as the side view that you're seeing now in practice practice and more practice you've got to be comfortable going both directions with any skill move that you're trying to execute because when you're in a match you're playing against a real opponent online you have to have things down packed and you can't think about them too much as you saw in the first freeze frame I was using the ball roll there in order to entice my opponent to attack me I need him to be aggressive. I need him to get off his butt and play some defense. And right when he stepped forward, we did a little one-two and a great finish there by Pato. The keeper is never going to have a chance. And we've got a break here. Ronaldinho is definitely going to be caught. But how am I going to mix up this last defender? Because he's coming for me. Ronaldinho is not the fastest player. And we go ball roll into a scoop turn. And he's mixed and matched. And it's an easy goal. Top corner. No problem. We take that 3-2 lead. And I love this move in terms of mixing up gameplay. And just throwing off the opposition a little bit. In the last freeze frame, we've got a chip through ball to Alexander Pato, and a lot of people would be looking to shoot this. You've got the inside position, but I'm doing a ball roll, and I go to the outside because I'm able to now shoot or cross, and that's what I was talking about briefly before, is the ball roll just gives you a lot more time, and it shows composure, and you can gather yourself whether you need to shoot, whether you need to cross, it buys the opportunity for other players to get in the right position and if you've played a lot of FIFA having momentum in your favor is so crucial to scoring goals on a consistent basis if your player is running onto a cross running onto a chip through ball running onto just a regular a pass and taking it down correctly if it's all in one motion the flow is right you're gonna score a lot more goals but if you guys enjoyed the video please drop a like uh, if you could drop any feedback that always helps me especially since this is the first entry into the sports commentator March Madness deal. But until next time, I have a lot more content come for everyone ASAP, ASAP. Sports commentator March Madness is brought to you by Astro Gaming. Astro Gaming's mission is to produce the world's finest gaming equipment. They've produced a number of award-winning headsets, including the classic A30s, A40s, and the wireless A50s. Get rid of your old headphones, hear the difference, and feel the power of Astro Audio. Dating back to 1931, the clash of the owls and Nittany Lions has been a powerful and rigorous one. Temple has been held windless since 1941, but today they look to change that on their home turf in a possible snowball. It will be a battle of two freshman quarterbacks with one making their first start. This matchup will be brought to you momentarily. And coming to you live just off of I-95 here at Lincoln Financial Field. It's going to be the Temple Owls versus the Penn State Nittany Lions in this matchup today. But today's main story, freshman quarterback from Temple, Nathan Thompson, growing up in the Philadelphia area, makes his first ever start today. And we remember back to National Signing Day when he shocked the entire nation choosing the Temple Owls over the powerhouse Penn State Nittany Lions. And today in his first start, he's going to be able to show us just what he is capable of doing. And now to start off the game on first and ten, first play of the game, throws and finds his tight end across the middle of the field for a first down reception of ten yards. That's going to be a great way to start this game. But on third and fifteen, Thompson's pressure throws that up, and that's a huge grab by the halfback for 27 yards. And now I'm looking at Nathan Thompson's stats, standing at 5'11", weighing 150 pounds, coming out of South Philadelphia High School. He was National High School Player of the Year two times in 2011 and 2013. And looking at his senior season stats, he led the nation in completion percentage, touchdown, and passing yards. We're going to move ahead to second and ten. Thompson finds his halfback cut across the middle of the field, and he's going to get more than a first down to set them up inside the red zone. And second and ten, they're going to try and break the goal line stand, and the quarterback punches that in on the sneak for a 7-0 lead. And now looking to capitalize off the 7-0 lead. Thompson 
looks and fires, and that's a ridiculous grab by his wide out over two defenders there. But uh, first and ten yet again, Thompson finds the tight ends over on the right side, and he picks up 15 yards before he steps out of bounds. On the play action here at first and ten, the tight end gets the grab again, and you'll be seeing this play a lot more often during this game. But on third and two, the halfback breaks three tackles on his way for a huge run. He's got five guys chasing him. He's got some space ahead of him, but he's brought down, but not before he picks up 43 yards on the play. And on the first and 10, Thompson finds his tight end. Tight end has enough of its space, and that's going to be a huge touchdown for Temple. But now in the second half, tied at 14, he finds his wide out for a great third and 19 conversion as he picks up 20 yards. And on second and five, Thompson drops back. He will look over. He finds his wide out. He will stay in bounds, and he's got nothing but space ahead of him. Then he's brought down for 26 yards. Fourth and 17. Risky play, but they get the conversion to bring them inside the 10-yard line off 22 yards. And on third and goal, they're going to find the tight end for a score to give them the lead. But Penn State will respond quickly. And now with 147 left in the second quarter, they find the wide out. But that's all they'll be able to do in regulation. As a Thompson's first start, they will go to overtime. Penn State wins the coin toss. They will elect to defer as Temple will start off with the ball in overtime. And on third and 20, they need to at least get some yardage. But Thompson's looking for the conversion, and he gets it as the catch by the wideout is good. And on second and goal, he punches it in again on the quarterback sneak. And now third and eight. Quarterback drops back, and the screenplay works to perfection as they will get the touchdown there to tie it up. Penn State gets the ball to start off the second overtime on third and 14. They get him to go out of bounds, and they're going to go for the field goal attempt. The snap is up. The kick is up. It looks like it might go to the left as the wind is going, but that just squeaks in. And on second and goal, Thompson finds his half. I got the screen, and the Temple Owls have finally beat the Penn State Nittany Lions. Sports commentator March Madness is brought to you by Big Shot Mods, your number one source for modded controllers. Mod your own, build it how you want it, Upload your logo, pictures, and gamer tag. Tell them how you want it to look and let them do the rest. Big Shot Mods, your number one source for modded controllers. What's going on, guys? Koi with Babe Gaming. I'm bringing you guys some Madden 25 Next Gen Ultimate Team Mutt. We only got four minutes, so let's hop into it. We didn't do anything on our first drive, so now he has the ball. He's throwing it over, and give me that. Cox coming up with the interception, and we're going to be going the other way with the ball. So now it's time to set up our offense. Russell Wilson and company. He's driving back. He's going to dump it off to Chris Johnson on the halfback screen. He's taking off. And picking up some decent yards all the way up to the 31 right now. Now Russell Wilson scanning the field again. Finds Megatron, Kelvin Johnson Jr. We've got another first down. Now Russell Wilson escaping the pressure. Getting pressured by the defensive lineman. He's going to launch it up, and that's a terrible idea. Huge mistake. I don't know what I was doing right there. Definitely shouldn't have done that. But right here, he's got RG3. He's whipping it across, and come on, man. We had to intercept that, but we do force him to punt the ball. Still 0-0 here. And Jay Finn, Jermichael Finley picking up the first down. Russell Wilson scanned the field one more time, rolling out to the right. And he's got Calvin Johnson Jr. again. Megatron with another first down. A minute and a half to go here in the first half. Jermichael Finley with the ball again, picking up seven yards on the play. Russell Wilson dropping back, rolling out to the right. Right here, he's got Chris Johnson, but Chris Johnson has fourth and inches. We played it safe. We took our three points, and now we have a lead here with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Now 30 seconds to go. He's throwing it over. He finds his tight end, picking up another first down. Now 15 seconds to go. RG3 going to throw it over. He catches another guy. This time, his halfback out of the backfield. Now he's looking to get more yards, and give me that. Sean Taylor, the dead man, and he's got it. He could go all the way right here. We step out. He did have the angle on us. We tried Hail Marion. It didn't work. So now he's got the ball after halftime, and give me that. Luke. Luke's got it, and we're going the other way. Already up 3-0. We got to convert right here. Russell Wilson tossing up. He's got Santana Moss juking. 
And we're going to get all the way around. We're going to go in for a touchdown. Hitting the first touchdown of the game. Striking first in the end zone. And we're up 10-0. Now he catches Durham across the middle. Beautiful grab. And he's able to hang on to it. We need to defend the middle a little bit better. Right here, he's got his fullback out of the backfield, picking up another first down. Luke is going to be injured and out for the game right there on that play. RG3 getting some yards, sliding down to the ground. Now they're on the six-yard line, and he's going to punch it in with his running back right there. And he does go for a two-point conversion, making it 10-8. to eight. We get a beautiful bomb to Santana Moss, getting out to the 39-yard line. He's got a guy injured now. We need to take care of the ball. So tossing it over to Jerry Rice. He's stretching, but he can't get the yards. We take our points, guys. Or do we? It's not long enough. Justin Tucker can't get it to go. 95 overall elite Justin Tucker. We couldn't get it to go. We needed that. But give me that. Sean Taylor with his second interception. And that is going to seal the game, guys. 10-8 victory over my opponent. <laughs> Sports commentator March Madness is brought to you by Elgato Gaming. Elgato Game Capture HD enables you to record and stream Xbox or PlayStation gameplay and share it with your friends and fans. With advanced hardware, H.264 encoding, you can capture in stunning 1080p full HD quality while keeping the file size low. What it do, YouTube? You are now rocking with the best. It's your boy, I'm Blast. <laughs> yeah, we playing Ultimate Team out here, man. Running the triple option. Run it one way, then I'm going to run it the other way. Franco Harris bullies the defense and moves up the field. So we go ahead and try and bomb it deep to Jerry Rice. And Jerry Rice can't quite get it. Colin Kaepernick couldn't quite put it on the money, but that's all right, though. So he takes that the four-yard line and gets himself out of trouble. Second and three, he rolls out. Get him with the big sack, man. So third and 13, he hands it off to Lamar Miller, and Miller is close to the first down, but not quite there. Fourth and inches, he drops back, passes it, catches me off guard with the play action, but no big deal. We end up stopping. So third and 12, he tries to run his own read option, and I ain't having none of it. You see what I'm saying? So here we go. We play coverage D on fourth down, fourth and 15. He ends up not getting it, so we get the ball back. I pass it to Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice is shrugging tacklers off, doing his thing. So I go back to the read option this time, and Colin Kaepernick is gone, baby. He gone. You can't catch that, man. So we take the lead first in this game, 7-0, and look at Le'Veon Bell, man. Le'Veon Bell was an absolute monster in this game as we get this man to do a tip drill real quick. But Le'Veon Bell says, that's all right, though. I'm going to just punch it in this time. He ends up getting it into the end zone, tying up the game in the second quarter so we pitch it to Emmett Smith go back to the read option man because this man was having problems stopping it if he having problems stopping it I'm not gonna stop running it I'm gonna keep running it till he can't stop it uh <laughs> till he ends up stopping it so right there fourth and seven we run the out route with less than 10 seconds to go to score a touchdown before halftime and this is crucial because he gets the ball back at half but before that we kick him the ball and this man is doing all kinds of crazy stuff almost gets a safety man i don't know what he was thinking but he starts out the second half by giving it to Le'Veon bell and Le'Veon bell was his workhorse this game man so i ran commit because Le'Veon bell was just killing me and as i ran commit this dude beat me up top so it's my fault bad read on my part but that's all right because jamal charles mr wiggles himself does his thing does that man dirty and richard sherman cannot catch that man don't ever test me with a sorry db like sherman <laughs> no nah, i'm just playing sherman's a beast though but uh levion bell is an absolute monster especially in this game i don't know what what came over levion bell but lamar miller change of pace running back got that speed and took it straight into the end zone so i try and run the triple option again and I mess up. I should not have pitched it. Should have held on to it. But it's all right, though. No big deal. 21 to 21. Fourth quarter. Three and a half minutes to go. And this man ugh, gets it as I was trying to go for the kill shot. I tried to get him in the backfield. Tried to hit him hard, man. But right here, he drops back. Tries to roll out and ends up taking the sack, man. So third and 18. He goes back to Le'Veon Bell thinking he's going to get it. 
doesn't quite get it. Fourth and 13, drops back, throws across the middle, doesn't get it. My defense holds up, so now I got the ball, but oh my goodness, Jamal Charles, you need to lift, bro. Why this man dropped the ball in a crucial play, man? Tried to get in the field goal range, and Jamal Charles let me down, so I'm trying to hold this man right now. I get one stop, don't quite get him there. Le'Veon Bell just ends up getting in the field goal range. Now he's just trying to run the ball and stay in the field goal range, but I don't know what he was thinking here because Antro Rowe was playing the flats and the flats wasn't being played by him. So Antro Rowe takes it all the way to the end zone. But it's not over because he got one more play left in him. He got heart. This man is fighting for his life. Ran the read option. I did not contain RG3. What could possibly happen next?